This is a 2017 guide to the digital display market from the IAB. To understand how far we have come in the last 20 years of online display trading, we need to start from the beginning. In the beginning, an advertiser or an agency representing an advertiser would work directly with a publisher to purchase ad space on their website. This could be done on a tenancy basis, with every visitor to the website being shown the same message. Or the advertiser could purchase a share of the total impressions paid for at a cost per thousand rate. Publishers who were unable to monetize all of their available inventory would sell on their remnant impressions to ad networks, who would aggregate supply from multiple publishers and sell on packaged inventory at a discounted rate. This method became known as indirect selling with networks acting as brokers or intermediaries for publishers. Ad networks pioneered many of the techniques that are still used today, such as building audiences to better qualify impressions. But the model also introduced inefficiencies, which ultimately led to the creation of the ad exchange model. This model gave rise to the beginnings of data management platforms. Third parties who specialized in understanding the unique characteristics of site visitors and overlaying that data at an additional cost. Sellers could make their audiences available on the exchanges and buyers could pick and choose individual impressions. They could either bid on individual impressions through real-time bidding auctions or bulk buy inventory that met their targeting requirements regardless of the source. Both buy-side and sell-side benefited from the trading efficiencies of this new model. Some agencies invested in their own trading desks or outsourced to independent trading desks, which would plug into entities known as demand-side platforms. They could streamline their media acquisition strategies based on their understanding of which audiences were most likely to be interested in their products or services. On the sell-side, Publishers made their impressions available to aggregated sell-side platforms. With rapidly increasing availability of mobile inventory, app developers started to appear alongside traditional desktop publishers. The role of the ad network diminished as they adopted this new technology, and today, only a small proportion of inventory is traded this way. Similarly, the role of the ad exchange diminished as the DSP and SSP began to interact more directly. Conversely, the importance of the data management platform in enriching the understanding of each transaction in the supply chain has increased. In recent years, we have seen the increasing importance of ad verification partners. These companies are entrusted with validating the quality of the inventory being transacted and to ensure that it originated from legitimate sources. We now find ourselves in an ecosystem where the majority of ad impressions are transacted through some degree of automation, including even the oldest model of the direct relationship between buyer and seller. None of this would have been possible without the increasing wealth of data now available to marketers and the specialization of every intermediary partner in the supply chain. With each new step in the process, digital continues to innovate and improve, keeping it the most effective way to reach and wow your audience.